XOR gate using NAND gate. The expression of XOR gate is y equal to a bar dot b plus a dot b bar and its symbol is this is input a and input b and y is the output and the mathematical expression of NAND gate it is y equal to a dot b bar so we have to write this equation in this pattern now again I am writing this this equation y equal to a bar dot b plus a dot b bar plus 0 plus 0 yes we can write and we know that a dot a bar is equal to 0 correct so a bar b plus a dot b bar plus a dot a bar plus b dot b bar we can write it no problem okay next now I'll rearrange this this term a dot b bar plus a dot a bar this term I have written here and this term plus this term a bar plus b plus b dot b bar if I take a common from these two term then we will get a bar plus b bar from these two term I am taking b as a common then we will get a bar plus b bar the De Morgan theorem says a dot b bar equal to a bar plus b bar so we can write a bar plus b bar as a dot b whole bar a dot b bar plus a dot b bar so till this it is clear again I am writing this line y equal to a into a dot b bar plus b into a dot b bar now we know that a complement of complement that is a double bar is equal to a so what we'll do is writing this line and we'll take double bar whole bar whole bar okay we know that a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar dot b bar so we will apply this line in this okay so we can write a dot a dot b bar bar from the formula it is not plus now it is dot this dot b dot a dot b bar whole bar and the second one we have the whole bar now we'll consider this as m and this as n so m equal to a dot a dot b bar whole bar and n equal to b dot a dot b bar whole bar now again I am writing y equal to this m this equal to m here we have dot and this is equal to n and this whole bar now from this we can see that it is 
similar to the NAND gate as we have already seen y equal to a dot b bar so this is similar to the NAND gate so we can take m as the input of NAND gate and n the second input and the output will be y y equal to m dot n whole bar now we'll connect instead of m we'll connect this one and instead of n we'll connect this term now we'll make the m circuit it has two input a and b so here it is a and b and we have to do this only with NAND gate so I can take only NAND gate so what will be the output of this a dot b bar so this is the second term but for the first term we have a so again we'll take another NAND gate and in this will connect the A so the input of this NAND gate is A and A dot B bar so the output will be A into A dot B bar and as it is NAND gate so whole bar so we are getting this output from these two NAND gate now we'll make an circuit again we'll take two input a b for the second term we'll do NAND gate so the output will be a dot b bar for input b in this NAND gate we'll insert b here the input of this NAND gate will be a dot b bar and this b will come here and it is the input so the output of this NAND gate will be b dot a dot b bar whole bar so this is the circuit of m and n now we have to combine all of them and then we will get the XOR output so basically what we have seen is we have output of M and output of N so if we do the both input M and N we have both the output of M and N and if we do NAND function then it will be our XOR gate because we have seen y equal to m dot n whole bar so this will be our XOR output so from this we can see we need 5 NAND gate one is this and other 4 will be this for m for 2 NAND gate and for n we have 2 NAND gate but before that we have to see is there any 2 NAND gate that has same output from this we can see this NAND gate its output is a dot b bar and its output is also a dot b bar so we can take these two NAND gates as one NAND gate so finally we need four NAND gate so I'll draw this NAND gate here input is a and b output is a dot b bar for M we need this two input A and A dot B bar so so from this we will take A dot B bar here it is NAND gate and in M circuit we have A as a another input so we will take A from here and from N it has also A dot B bar and B as a input 
and from this NAND gate we can take this input and for B from this and as it is M and N now we need this NAND gate M N so we can write it as A X or B why we can write this because it is equal to Y and Y means this and again we have to see this means this Y and this Y it is equal to this A X or B so from this we can write this okay so to tell we need 4 NAND get 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the explanation now we'll see the practical circuit on the breadboard first we will draw this basic circuit and after this we have to add some more thing we'll provide input with push button switch the other side of the switch will be connected to plus 5 volt and with this switch we'll provide A and with this we'll provide B and to see the input we will connect LED and with this LED we have to connect to 20 ohms resistor and with the input we have to connect pull down resistor and the value of the pull down resistor is 10 kilo ohms and to see the output we will connect an LED with this also and this is our Y and it is XOR gate and the truth table of XOR is here this A and V are the input and Y is the output if both the input is 0 then output will be 0 for 0 1 it is 1 for 1 0 it is 1 and for 1 1 it is again 0 so if the input is same or equal then the output will be 0 and if the input is not same then the output will be 1 so this is the basically XOR gate now we'll do this using 7400 it is NAND gate IC it is SN7474 SL00 we have to see the pin diagram of the IC7400 it is NAND gate IC it has 14 pin pin number 7 should be connected to the ground and pin number 14 should be connected to the plus 5 volt it has 4 NAND gate these are the 4 NAND gate and and pin 1 and 2 are the input and 3 is the output of first NAND gate and like this and like this you can see the inputs and outputs of other NAND gate as we need 4 NAND gate so it is NAND gate 1 gate 2 gate 3 and gate 4 as one piece of 7400 has 4 NAND gate so we need one piece of IC and as you have seen the pin diagram of the IC so pin number 7 of the IC will be connected to the ground and pin number 14 will be connected to the plus 5 volt and here it is gate 1, 2, 3 and 4 this is gate number 1 and the input of this gate is pin number 1 and 2 and output is pin number 3 so this will be our pin number 1, 2 and this is pin number 3 for gate 2 the inputs are 4 and 5 and the output is 6 for gate 3 it is the output is pin number 8 and input is pin number 9 and 10 and uh, this is the output pin number 8 and for gate 4 the inputs are pin number 12 and 13 and the output is pin number 11 so from pin number 11 we will get the output and it is pin number 12 and 13 so from this we can see that these are the input so with the input we have connected the pull down resistor and I already explained why should we connect the pull down resistor with the input link in the description below so pin number 1 and 2 are the input 
and pin number 3 is the output of this gate and 3 will be connected to pin number 5 and pin number 9 and also pin number 10 is connected to pin number 2 and pin number 1 is connected to the pin number 4 and after this after this gate pin number 6 is connected to pin number 12 and pin number 8 is connected to pin number 13 and from pin number 11 we will get the output and this will be our XOR output now we will connect this to the breadboard and we will verify the truth table I see 7400 pin 14 and 7 are connected to the positive rail and the negative rail with pin number 1 and 2 pull down resistors are connected input switch A and B are connected one pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail with other side input LED and resistors are connected this is the output LED and as you know pin number 11 is output and it is connected to the output LED and now we have to connect rest of the connection switch A it is connected to pin number 1 switch B is connected to pin number 2 pin number 1 is connected to pin number 4 and pin number 2 is connected to pin number 10 here it is pin number 1 and it is connected to pin number 4 pin number 2 is connected to pin number 10 pin number 3 5 and 9 these 3 are connected together here it is pin number 3 and it is connected to pin number 5 and also with pin number 9 pin number 6 to 12 pin number 8 to 13 pin number 6 to 12 pin number 8 to 13 output pin pin number 11 is already connected to LED now we have to connect 5 volt power supply here it is positive and the negative this is the truth table 000 000 000 011 or 101 and if both input is 11 then output will be 0 so 011 one zero one and if both are one then output should be zero so this is how we can design XOR gate using NAND gate so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching.